starting with my NYX Shine Killer Primer. Just apply that all over my face. And I'm actually pretty happy with how my skin is looking. It's really healed up a lot. I have a couple little breakouts, but other than that, it's been like a major improvement. One thing that I can say is that I have been having apple cider vinegar every single day, and I think it has made the hugest difference in my skin. So I highly recommend that. So today I'm going to start with my eyes before I do my skin. I am going to use these little guys. They're collagen eye treatment pads. And I just got these from the Calgary Farmers Market. It's called Eden Essentials. And I absolutely love um, that store. So let's just see these little guys. I haven't tried these before. Oh, these feel so nice. They're like so cooling on the skin. Now that I have those on, I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my eyes. I am using MAC Paint Pot in Paint. Nope, soft ochre. I am looking for something that is cruelty free to use instead. Really loving this as a base, so it's kind of it's annoying. Mac, please, please stop testing on animals. I'm gonna start off with a ColourPop. This is Bites, and it's just a really stark white. I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush. This one here is by Real Techniques. It's gonna pretty much take this everywhere, like from um, my lid all the way up to my brow bone. I'm gonna go in and just focus a whole lot on the crease and really blending that out before I do anything with the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and take to a T. It's a really beautiful transition shade. I've been loving this. And I'm just gonna really focus on putting that into the crease and blending it out really, really well. Really making sure that you're holding the brush at the end anytime that you're blending anything out. Now I wanna go up and build that crease. So I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E25 blending brush. And it's quite a bit smaller and more dense than the last brush that I was using. So again, I'm not putting too much product on my brush and I'm focusing on holding it at the very end. Now using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with another ColourPop color, ColourPop color. So this shade is Bandit. I'm just gonna work that into the crease. So again, going in with that same color, I'm now going to use a different brush. So these little brushes I actually just got from the drugstore, they're eco tools. I'm going to go in with this tapered brush here and just going even darker into that crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a really small pencil brush. This one is from Lee Swatier and it's just a teeny tiny little guy. So I'm gonna go in with that same color and just this tiny brush. And then kind of keeping that line now, making it a little more precise and bringing it out. And now I'm going in with an even darker shade. It is called Central Perk. Kind of a burgundy, purpley, like just gorgeousness. go back in with my MAC Painterly, why do I keep saying that? I'm gonna go back in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm just using this little brush. Um, this is from Bare Essentials, so it's just a flat synthetic brush. shade this is game face it is so gorgeous oh my god this is probably my favorite one that I got I'm gonna follow the exact outline that we just created um, with our cream product Tools brush. It's a bit flatter. So I got this cool pen from, what is it called? Flower is the brand, but it's Drew Barrymore's brand and it's all cruelty free. It is quite a thick pen here. 
so we'll see I normally like more precise smaller lines so we'll see how this goes I'm just lining it up here and pulling it out hmm. I am not loving this pen very much so far I do this like every single time I get a pen I hate the freaking pen so I don't know why I keep thinking that I'm gonna find this like magical one so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off now and I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up those um, wings This is the Drew Barrymore line. I'm really loving this under eye concealer. I got the shade BC1. So I'm just gonna start by going ahead and applying that under my eye. And bringing it down towards my nose. Breaking out a little bit here, oh my gosh. So um, you know how like the senses people come around every year. So I had a piece of like actual aloe like a chunk of aloe plant like stuck on the side of my face to like help heal because it's a really great um, natural remedy for healing or burns or anything like that and I totally forgot that it was on my face and I fully opened the door and like answered the whole census with like a big green chunk on my face so that was cool I did do another video I can link it for you um, kind of on my like um, plan of how to fix my skin so I'm pretty happy to update I do see an improvement with the changes that I've made so you can definitely check that out if you want some tips and tricks I'm gonna go in with the foundation that I've been using for a little bit to be honest I don't feel like super awesome about it I don't hate it it's not cruelty free so I won't be repurchasing it but this is the Maybelline fit me foundation uh, before I go in with my foundation I'm actually gonna do um, a little bit of contour this is the the NYX uh, Wonder Stick. I actually love this. I'm running pretty low on the darker side. It's not too warm, which is nice. And I know it's kind of weird to do this before foundation, but lately I've been liking doing that. So I'm just going to stick with that today. So I'll just kind of go around those edges. I'm not really blending in the under eye area quite yet. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of product and kind of like tap over my nose area. And I'm kind of going along the sides first so I don't mess up too much of that highlight. Because we want to keep the top lighter obviously. Now I'm kind of going to like squish the top of my brush and just tap this under eye area and I'm going right along where we have the wing but being careful not to go over it. I'm just going to tap that in. I'm going to go in with my um, Makeup Forever HD setting powder. I honestly don't <laughs> really like this product that much but um, I have a bunch of it. For some reason I keep getting like those travel sizes. I did find a loose powder from the Drew Barrymore line, but um, I, the lightest shade, like I got the lightest one, I'll show you guys it in a minute, and it is like pretty dark, so I don't know how anybody fairer than me um, would be able to use that product. This is it. It comes in some pretty cool packaging, actually. Let me just like get a bit in the top, but like how is that the lightest color? You know what I mean? Like that is pretty pretty dark. I'm gonna get my brows on because I just like can't handle looking at myself any longer without them. I always find that's like the biggest change for me like in terms of not wearing makeup. If my skin's okay I don't really mind but I just feel like albino without brows. So I have been doing my brows a slight bit different so hopefully I can have a decent brow day on film 
and show you guys my new technique. Again, these are the Eco Tool. So they have a really good just angled brush and it's quite precise and very thin as you can see. So I've been really liking this for my brows. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. Okay, so I am just kind of carving out the bottom line. And then I always kind of start with my peak. What do you call that? My arch. I always kind of start with my arch and just get that where I want it. And then I'm just using whatever's left on my brush to bring that product forward a little bit. And then this is kind of what I've been doing differently now. So once I get up to this front part in the middle of my brow, I've just been pushing the product up. My hair is very light naturally, like probably closer to blonde than anything. So I always struggle with getting my brows dark enough that I feel like they match my hair without it being like, um, whoa, solid. <laughs> block brows so and so you're really just moving the product from the bottom up you're not adding a whole lot of product okay decent not bad not bad and then I'm gonna go in with my eco tools brush this more kind of flat one here I'm gonna take the lighter color to a T This is just a black liner from ColourPop. It's called Swerve. I actually really like these. They're kind of a gel consistency, um, so they're quite pigmented. So really kind of work it in between the lashes, like anywhere that you can see like a bit of skin, you're kind of filling in those patches. Then I'm gonna go in with another liner from ColourPop. This is called Overboard. It is a beautiful um, kind of coppery color. Let's see if you guys can see. It is gorgeous. So I'm just gonna go and take that along my lower lash line now, just directly under the lash line and where we put that black liner. And really just blend that out and blend it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Game Face. It's this beautiful bronzy color that we used before. And I'm working that right into that same line um, where we use that kind of coppery liner. And now using that same brush, I'm gonna go back in with two of tea. And I'm going right under that line and just blending it out. Then I'm gonna go in with NYX um, Chubby Stick in Milk. I don't know why I call it a chubby stick. I don't even know if that's what it's called. But I'm just gonna pop like the teeniest amount just in the very corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with MAC Pigment in Vanilla. I'm gonna see if I can manage to do this on camera. I haven't thus far since I've been filming, so we'll give it a whirl. These are these are the Ardell Natural 102s, I want to say, but they're beautiful, um, really full and fluffy. And then I just take the lashes and run them through the glue. Are you going to focus? Can you see this? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. But I'm just dragging it through the glue. So there's a nice even layer, but it's not too, too thick and you're not like sometimes when you do it from the tube you're getting it all up in between the lashes and then it's not going to look like quite as natural so i'm going to let these chill for just a sec um you want to make sure that the glue is a little bit tacky before you get it on lately i've been applying mine with tweezers so i've just been taking these little guys and just grabbing them at the middle on the very top like this okay so then now that they're a little bit tacky, looking down, I'm going to place these, place the middle right onto the middle of my lid. Placing that right down in the middle. 
pulling the outer corner down into the corner where I want it. You guys could see that okay. So I'm just gonna let those dry. I got, it's actually a blush, but it is a matte. Um, it is called Aphrodisiac. Going in with Lunch Money, it is a highlight from ColourPop. Thank you so much to um, Kelsey Kristen Beauty who recommended this. I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to go down the tip of my nose. I've been noticing, okay, so I was doing like this motion across my nose, but I think because the bridge of my nose or like the tip of my nose is a bit wider, that was the wrong thing to do because I feel like it was making it look a little more like turned up and accentuating the width in the front. So I've kind of been keeping this highlight right in the middle now. And then down my cupid's bow. And then for blush, I'm gonna go in with another ColourPop product. This is called Thumper. It is gorgeous. It's very bright, but don't be afraid. I love colors like this that are super, super vibrant in the pot. I just find that they have the most beautiful color. Don't be afraid of super vibrant blushes. I'll just say that. I'm starting on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of working in circular motions. So now that that's done, we're just gonna go back up to our eyes now and I want to um, touch up any glue on my lash line. When I'm doing this inner portion here, I'm just bringing my mirror out to the opposite side and that way you're opening up that front area. And this pen actually has a mascara on the back and it looked to be like a nice thin applicator. Let's see how this goes. So I'm just going to go pretty much just at the base of the lashes. You don't want to bring it up too, too high because you kind of accentuate like the fake ends of the lashes at all. Normally I like the L'Oreal Telescopic, but again, that is not gonna be cruelty free. So we're on the hunt. Shit. If you ever get a dot of um, mascara, do not touch it, just leave it. I'll show you what to do in a minute. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a Q-tip real quick so I can get rid of this dot here. Okay, so like I was saying, if you ever get a little dot of mascara, don't touch it, leave it, continue on doing whatever you're doing and just let it dry and then go back in with a Q-tip and all you're gonna do is just literally like roll it off. If it's an actual like chunk, you can like, it'll flake off. I've been just obsessed with this color and kind of everybody on Instagram has been too and asking me what color I'm wearing when I wear it. This is Trap by uh, Colourpop. It is gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I love this color. I feel like self-conscious putting liquid lipstick on. Okay. 